Hi there, my name is Samantha Mirabal. I'm going to quick show you how to use the monogram fonts within Design Shop. So, if you do the lettering element, you can type out whatever letters you want on the mono, you know, for your monogram. It's a good idea to go ahead and center it. Not required, but not a bad idea to get in the habit of doing. So when you go in to edit the text, because that's not a very pretty monogram, let's go down and look at the different monogram fonts. So one thing you'll notice, when you go to the different monograms, you'll see that there's these little boxes that pop out, at least in version 10, um, and these are the code sheets. Version 9, they actually you have to open up in PDF to see these same sheets. But what you'll see is there is a number next to each one of these shapes here for the monograms. So, for instance, if I wanted to have my monogram with these little end caps, what I would do is, one, choose that font, and then put the number one on my text, and you'll see it creates that same little um, end piece for me. And you can go through all the different varieties to see what they look like by changing the numbers. Okay, so you can see that's one idea of a monogram. And that works with all of these. So when you go to the monogram fonts, you go look at them. And if there's a particular style you like, you would select that font and then choose the number next to it. So let's say maybe this one and the number three. All right. Now, if you want to make a different font a monogram, so let's say you wanted to just use whichever font, pick a font at random, um, you can still get that three, you know, the middle large look by going under the lettering tab through this monogram. And here you can enable that. And this will allow you to set the height and densities of each letter, letter individually so that you can go through and move them around. And don't forget to adjust your kerning if necessary to make sure that it looks right. Um, the other thing you'll notice, it's not letting me move up and down. So let's say I wanted to move my S lower. In order to do that, you have to hit the control key and then it will let you move it off the line. Once you move it down then, it'll allow you to, it'll then lock it back to being horizontal motion but control key lets you move off the line and then you can go back to moving side to side and again how I'm doing that is I'm clicking on the text and then these little black boxes I'm clicking on those so that the text the letter that I want to select is highlighted and then scaling it around and, th and that's a brief um, overview of monogram fonts